generally speaking, there's a need to automate security screening process everywhere in the world. But especially now that the passenger numbers are coming back after the pandemic, and then there are staffing shortages at the security checkpoints, there is an even more pressing need to do this. Well, we have a long-standing partnership with Dom Akaba. Uh, we've been equipping some of the most modern uh, checkpoint security installations uh, in the past couple of years when we were approached by the Department of Homeland Security in the United States. They were looking for a fully automated self-screening checkpoint. So we decided to team up and uh, utilize technologies that we had uh, on both sides uh, and created a solution where a passenger can go through the security checkpoint without any contact to a security officer. The system consists of a pair of doors or gates with the security scanner in the middle. So you have an entry door and an exit door. The entry door opens for the users with a sensor or a security badge, and then the user enters. Then within these two doors, we check that he's alone, and then we guide the user into a posture to enable the security scan. If everything works out well, he then leaves through the exit door. If there's any abnormality, he has to go back out again through the entry door. The technology that we use in our body scanners is millimeter wave technology. Millimeter waves are used to connect cell phones to base stations, so it's a low power emission technology. And millimeter waves get reflected by the skin. And this is an advantage that we utilize for the detection of concealed items on the body, because the millimeter waves can penetrate clothes. And then depending if it's the skin or if it's a concealed item, the reflection looks differently to the scanner. That is a rather new technology that is about to displace metal detectors. Metal detectors can only detect metals, but most of the thread objects uh, at security checkpoints are typically non-metallic. Think of uh, flammable or explosives or organic materials or ceramic knives, printed weapons. We have thousands of little antennas that send millimeter waves to the person. They get reflected and then they generate a volumetric image of the person and allow us uh, by algorithms that we train with artificial intelligence to detect concealed items and give feedback to the passenger where exactly there is still something that the person needs to divest in order to pass security. We see great potentials uh, in making the whole process more compact, more lean and efficient, because there could be a job combination where you have two lanes side by side, could be operated with one set of personnel. This has always been our philosophy at Domakaba. It's the same with our boarding gates. It's not about replacing manpower but increasing capacity with the same manpower. This is actually a sustainable strategy because instead of building new airports, we increase the capacity of airports.